I guess it's been about 20 or what, 25 years that I've been afflicted with this affliction. <laughs> Actually, I first started collecting African art, African masks, and then got into other uh, kinds of primitive art like American Indian and New Guinea. And then uh, perhaps like 10 years, it's been about 10 years now, I, my interests have been more in into like American folk and naive art. Well, I, I guess like folk art just inspires me. I, I get a great deal of pleasure from it. And I think it influences my work quite a bit. I like the directness, the uh, freshness. I find it much more inspiring than uh, mainstream art, mainstream uh, European uh, Western art. There's uh, something much more un unprecedented about each uh, wonderful piece that you come upon. A, you know, sort of fresh vision. The first reaction is very uh, instinctive and spontaneous, and then later on, it's like teaching. I mean, you, you come up to a student's work and you react to what's, you know, what's there, you feel it. And after a while, you, you know, you, you, you can get more rational and realize that this work is working better than this is or this isn't. And I think you, I, can, I do that with the objects, but I don't, I don't come home and place them in this white area and, and give them a formal critique. <laughs> but uh, yes, I think one does realize uh, eventually that uh, these are the relationships or characteristics that make it so wonderful, you know. But the initial reaction is very intuitive.